Hey guys, I'm out here at midnight working on my 440. I had an issue with the intake I recently put on sucking oil from the bottom of the intake ports. Uh, so I sent the intake out to be angle milled already. I had already measured all this up and uh, now I'm just remeasuring it. So there's not that much information out there about how to accurately measure the angle or the fitment between the intake and the cylinder head for sealing purposes. There's an article that Hot Rod did, I think in like 2015, they, um, they, they used BBs or something. Basically, you got to sandwich something between the intake and the head and then measure how much crush you have. So Hot Rod used BBs. Don't use that shit. You're going to drop one, you know, it's going to bounce. It's going to go down uh, over your cam and down into your oil pan and just don't do it. So... Uh, the other article is from a company called Hughes Engines that sells Mopar stuff. They use some uh, wax wire, it's something like that. It's, I think it's uh, actually used for the jewelers use it, but it's really hard to find this stuff. You got to order it online. You got to order a ton of it. I like to use solder. It works really good. It crushes easy. Uh, the other thing with that wax wire, because I've used it before, your calipers will kind of crush it easy. Solder works nice. You really got to push on it to crush it. So, you know, you could get it in different thicknesses. It works great. So what you need to do is you need to space, put something between the head and the intake. You could use washers. If you use washers, you got to watch because, you know, a uh, pack of washers might have four or six thousandths between them. You need something that's within a thou of each other. I just use an old gasket and just cut it up and you just take some grease and you put the grease on, stick the gasket to it. It'll hold right on there. And then you take your pieces of solder. This I already crushed, install the intake, um, it took it back off. So you just put a dab of grease, lay your solder in there like so, torque your intake down and uh, take it back off. And then you measure the solder to see how much crush you have. Now, you don't actually want uh, it to be per you know perfectly parallel. You want a little bit more crush at the bottom than the top. You want three or four thousandths more crush at the bottom per side or six to eight thousandths total. Meaning if you've got two thousandths more crush at the bottom of the port on one side and four thousandths more crush at the bottom of the port on the other side, that's six thousandths more total. You're in good shape. The reason that total number is important is if you install the intake a couple times, it'll vary. You know, you might have two thousandths more on one side one time. Next time it might be three. But, you know, uh, you go up one thou on one side, you go down one on the other. So then you just, you know, take a caliper, measure how much your solder crushed. <clears throat> so I've got 28 thousandths on the top and 26 on the bottom. So that's two thousandths more on the bottom. Write it down, go all the way around. <clears throat> and like I said... We're shooting for six to eight more total on the bottom. So I got two thousandths on one side. I'm looking for four thousandths to six thousandths more crush on the bottom. On the other side, this intake before I took it off, it was eight thousandths the wrong way. So it had eight thousandths less crush on the bottom than the top. And that's why I kept sucking oil from the bottom of the intake manifold. So take your measurements, figure out. Uh, you know, if you're parallel, if you need to have the intake angle milled, bring it down to your machine shop. Tell them, in my case, I told them I wanted, uh, I told them seven thousandths off the top on both sides. So that put me 14 thousandths the other way. So theoretically, I should have six thousandths more pinch at the bottom when I get through all my measurements here. All right. Good luck. I hope you get those vacuum leaks fixed.